Now it's fair to say that performance might persuade me otherwise, but right now I have a major issue with the TM SIM drivers and I'm just struggling to get my head around it. So you're wondering what my issue is. That's the bit that you all want to know. It's the, uh, everyone loves a bit of negativity. Right now my issue is the smoke that's blown from the fire over there. It looked like someone off uh, Top of the Pops from the 70s, for those of you who remember. Um, head cover, fantastic by the way. Look really nice, really impressed. Our dress, this club looks superb. I love the crown. I love this matte finish that they've put to it. You've got these kind of turquoise accents i think is the uh, the way it's described so what's wrong and well i'll tell you what's wrong it's this thing this thing is the material that's used in the sole of this driver and i'm not really keen on it i'm not keen on it visually and it looks to me just a little bit plastic but it is in fact made from carbon and there's a real good reason as to why it's made from carbon right now before we go any further and i'll give you my opinion of uh, these tailor-made drivers what's yours uh you've no doubt been bombarded with these videos today as it's release day um but uh, first of all i want your opinion in terms of the looks here's some images for you now is that one jumping off the shelf for you is it going to be on the wish list are you going to give that one a go this year comments down below the ultimate question is forget your shallow mindset and how does this thing perform? It's the middle of the fairway. Maybe we can get up these locks. So my feedback from off the course before we get into sort of uh, dry ball data and we'll get into four golf to have a look at that. Um, the two drivers, not a lot to split them in terms of what I've it's ball side by side in terms of when I've got a good knock out of both of them no split in terms of yard is they get there a bit differently there's definitely um, a lower ball flight in uh, in the regular product and that sim max launch is quite a bit higher so again some uh, notable differences there other than that couldn't tell a great deal to split them so it's over to uh, four golf and uh, some dry ball data right one last thing before we do leave the course I forgot to mention the sound and feel or whichever one you decide it is but it felt superb it's uh, it's a softer perhaps a more muted sound but one that i really really liked and that was a major positive for me out on the course which is where the acoustics are better than commenting from inside a four goal so yeah tick the box there massive one right so first of all we've got three models we've got the standard sim we've got the sim max and we've got the sim max d which is the draw bias product um the story behind the removing of that weight in terms of this carbon crown and now carbon sole unit is to redeploy that weight um, into areas of the construction that make the driver perform better. In simple terms, mostly being in this area here. Um, and that weight is 16 gram in the standard, 24 gram in the max and 22 gram in the max D. So we effectively now have four components that make up this driver. We've got the face, we've got the carbon crown and the carbon sole. And then we've got this new forged aluminium ring, which effectively joins the whole thing together. The two screws that were visible in the face of last year's model, the original SIM, you used to see them in the face. I know people didn't particularly like that. Well, that has now been moved and that's into the toe area of this head shape. The overall size of face is actually larger than the original SIM models, and that's across the board on every model. And twist face is still as prevalent as ever. That's all I'm gonna tell you in terms of the tech spec. Right, we will get to data very soon, but just a, a further mention on that uh, carbon sole, which I have an issue with. Um, if you compare it to last year's model, um, for me, again, looked far better. It's got some sort of shiny chrome and steel elements in there. Even so much as how sturdy the product looks, if you like, seemed to be far better in last year's iteration now the other noticeable difference from the original sim range is the sliding bar the weight bar that's been prevalent in virtually every iteration of tailor-made driver for many many years it was a big selling point so don't forget that shiftable weight from the draw to the fade bias and it doesn't make an appearance in any of this sim 
to rain. So I find that really interesting. And uh, I struggle to understand quite how I'll explain that because like I said, it was a big selling point all along for many years for most of the manufacturers and it's been dropped out. But the point is, how did this thing perform uh, in terms of dry ball data? And I think we'll throw that in front of you now. We'll start off with the standard SIM product. And what you'll see there is um, really, really good numbers. Uh, 2369, 237 carry, 13 launch, 146 ball speed, 83 peak height. And when I say really good, I just want to make a point at this stage. We're reviewing obviously a lot of pl product in, uh, in recent days and weeks. They're really good numbers, but they're not numbers that are uh, outperforming anything that we've tried realistically since comparing last year's models. And uh, that's not just to be said about this tailor-made product, but also the, uh, the performance of everything we've tried so far. There has been no major leap forwards in terms of ball speeds, but has there been a difference made in terms of forgiveness? And I think that's where the real deal is to be found in these products from 2021. And that can be seen in this Max product. Once again, for me, outperformed the standard product in my hands considerably and no more so in the dry ball data. Um, 2816 spin, 245 carry, 14.7 launch and 147 ball speed and a peak height of 108. Now the numbers there that again, the telltale signs in terms of how did tech help me in terms of this Max product? Well, it launched higher, it got greater ball speed and the spin number didn't jump through the roof. So for me, that's a great, great combination. And I think that, again, if you compare the two out there on the fairways, again, for me, on a personal note, I certainly found the Max far more, uh, I suppose forgiving is the right word. It, uh, it didn't do as much wrong as what I did with the standard SIM. But once again, I think for me, you know, it's, it goes back to that data. The max data is really, really good. It's impressive, very, very good. But what are we going to do to see any improvements? I think that's where the difficulty lies. Did they make the new version of the SIM product better than last year's in terms of forgiveness? Maybe they did. It's a real hard thing to measure. I can only say that ball speed in relation to club head speed was really, really good. And optimizing those numbers in terms of that to that launch and spin number again was very very good performance indeed but we're talking about fairly minute details here so again the other one thing i'll mention is uh, the price on this is the rrp is 449 so that suggests it's going to sell at i don't know 419 maybe even 400 which will give it a bit of a head start in terms of its major competitor if you like from the callaway uh, epic which looks as if it's going to be considerably more expensive so that's one thing that they've definitely got in their favor perhaps this year on the price but we'll have to see uh, that what happens in retail when they uh, finally get released that's it i got no more to say like i said for me the big deal is um i have a major issue with that carbon sole which i'm sure they could have produced the carbon sole with a far better look and finish to it. That's what I'd ask of TaylorMade to uh, make this driver more appealing for me on a personal level. Other than that, that's me done. Another one is uh, another driver of 2021. So you've now seen three. Um, we've also got one more to come in a few days. So keep your eyes peeled. If you like what you've seen, don't forget, this is testing on behalf of average golfers with what was it 97 mile an hour club head speed with driver um, plenty of misses. It might be a little bit like how you play the game. So uh, consider subscribing in that like button and hopefully we'll see you again very very soon